If you're in the FPV hobby and if you have an older radio that is a multi protocol like a 4-in-1 or you have an FR Sky radio and if you wanted to add Express Solar S to it, you can do it with by adding an external module onto it. And besides adding the external module, there are some certain stuff you have to do, load some software into the radio in order for the radio system to collaborate with the external module. And this step is called loading the Express OS Lua script. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to teach you how to do it. First, of course, you're going to have to download the ExpressOS configurator to your computer and I'm just going to leave the download link at the description below. And next, you're going to take your radio here and you're just going to open it, turn it on, I mean. Welcome to HDX. And you are going to plug in your USB cable from your computer. And you're going to select joystick option as storage. This is going to let the computer read your SD card file. The one we're going to use is the USB drive K. For this one, don't touch it because this is your actual radio firmware. Don't touch it whatsoever. And next, you are going to open your new download ExpressOS configurator and you are going to come to the targets and you are going to select the correct model. So for this particular target, it's going to be Radio Master 2.4 gigahertz. And you're going to go down to the device and the device you're going to select Radio Master TX1224000 TX. And then you're just going to hit download Lua script. And I'm just going to save it at downloads as this is where I usually find my stuff, easiest place. And then, very simply, you are going to open the scripts file and you're going to go to the tools file and then we are going to pull okay, the Lua script into this file, replace, because I already installed one to test it, but it's going to work. Okay, we are done. Next, you are going to just unplug your cable power off your radio and power it on again and if we go to the system tab you can scroll down to the bottom and you can see that express LRS is now an option okay so i will assume most likely you are using an external module otherwise why do you need to flash this to use the external module we're going to go into the models tab the one that says mdl you're going to press it and you are going to use the page function to go to the second page and you are going to scroll down and we are going to enable the module because if you don't enable the module it's not going to work because okay so there are two types of module one is called internal so internal the only one we are supporting is multi basically it's four in one right you are going to make sure you turn it off because if you turn it on you cannot you can have both module working at the same time we are going to enable the external module so the module you're going to enable the modes is going to be set to crossfire because Express LRS is actually running on Crossfire to get the communication going with your chip. Okay, so once you are done with this, you should be able to see that your module has been powered on on the back. And we can go back to system. And when you go to the Express LRS lower script, it should load like this. Okay, so this is how simple it is to add Express LRS lower script to your 4-in-1 or FR Sky radio. All right, so if you're interested, I will be showing you how to flash this external module in the later videos. Okay, I'll see you next time, so stay tuned.